One of the most meaningful moments in my career was starting MySpace back in 2003. There was a lot of firsts that we didn't have a roadmap for. We have different challenges today. My name is Aber Whitcomb. I'm the head of technology at Jam City. My first exposure to games is when my dad brought home the first generation Atari and we played very competitive Kong against each other. I got started with a degree in computer science during the first dot-com bubble. I was actually recruited to come to LA by Chris DeWolf, our CEO here at Jam City. We started the first Silicon Beach in Santa Monica when we started MySpace. User-generated content was just getting started and we had millions of users coming into the site every day. We were having to install our own servers, develop our own databases that could support this kind of traffic. These days you have the public cloud, you don't have those same type of challenges. I think what I love about Jam City is it's a perfect balance between creativity and technology and it's currently just in its infancy. We have tens of millions of users playing multiple games every day. Tools that we're developing can change what's happening inside a game in real time. And then we attach some of our optimization algorithms based on machine learning and AI and make our games better and better every day. Career advice I'd like to give to other entrepreneurs would be don't get too caught up in your ideas. Your ideas are constantly going to change. Get input from users and iterate on your idea over time. Jam City, we started off publishing games on the web and now we're building mobile games for some of the biggest brands in the world. We're constantly innovating how we make our games and our products more fun. I'm always interested in people that are discovering new ways to solve problems.